Hey guys, welcome back to Trendy Gadget. Today, we'll break down the GeForce RTX Game On event. Let's head into it. CES CES, formerly an initialism for Consumer Electronics Show, is an annual trade show organized by the Consumer Technology Association, held in Winchester, Nevada, United States. At the Las Vegas Convention Center in January, the event typically hosts presentations of new products and technologies in the consumer electronics industry. The first CES was held in New York City in June 1967. It was a spin-off from the Chicago Music Show, which had served as the main consumer electronics exhibition event until then. The the event was attended by 17,500 participants and over 100 exhibitors. Motorola chairman Bob Galvin was the kickoff speaker from 1978 to 1994. CES took place twice a year, one in January in Las Vegas, known for Winter Consumer Electronics Show or WCES, and once in June in Chicago, known as the Summer Consumer Electronics Show or the SCES. As planned, the Winter Show was successfully held in 1995 in Las Vegas. However, since the Chicago Summer Shows were beginning getting to lose popularity, the organizers decided to experiment by having the show travel to different cities, with a planned show at the Pennsylvania Convention Center in Philadelphia starting in 1995. The inaugural E3 gaming show, however, was scheduled to take place on the West Coast in May and proved a source of increasing competition, leading to the cancellation of the Philadelphia Summer CES show. In 1998, with Las Vegas as the location, the show changed to a once-a-year format. The show is one of the largest in Las Vegas, taking up to 18 days to set up, run, and break down. From the 7th to 10th of January 2020, the 53rd CES was held in Las Vegas, Nevada, focusing on innovation in electric vehicles, infotainment, telematics, autonomous capabilities, and ride-sharing. Automotive has become a major part of CES. Even major OEMs are now using CES for the first time to introduce the public to new automotive technologies. Therefore, it's obvious that the event had a gigantic hype this year again. They described the show the following way. Before the show launched, CES 2021 will digitally convene businesses, thought leaders, policymakers, media, and the broader tech community to launch products, build brands, and form partnerships, hear from the technology innovators, see the latest product launches, and engage with global brands and startups from around the world. NVIDIA's new products And one of the companies presenting their new products is NVIDIA during the GeForce RTX Game On event. So, what did NVIDIA show off? With three graphics cards targeting various price and performance segments, NVIDIA unveiled its Ampere-based GeForce RTX 30 mobile series. The GA104 GPU is used by the GeForce RTX 3080 and will have 6,144 shader cores and up to 16GB of GDDR6 memory. High-end notebooks will make use of this GPU. 5,120 shader cores and 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory will be featured on the GeForce RTX 3070. This graphics card will also be available for games at 1440p or ultra in high-end notebooks looking to deliver at least 90 FPS. Finally, the GeForce RTX 3060 will feature 3,840 shader cores and 6 gigabytes of memory and will be based on the GA106 GPU. Gaming notebooks that cost around $999 and offer 10 1080p playability are targeted by this GPU. The GeForce RTX 3060 will then have 12GB of memory on the new graphics card and will arrive February with a starting price of $329. A GA106 Ampere graphics processor is used on the card and features 3,584 shader cores. Let me introduce the new GeForce RTX 3060, which brings the power of our second generation RTX architecture to every gamer. Resizable Bar NVIDIA also spoke about the arrival in February of the Resizable Bar for its latest graphics card. However, this feature will only be available on both the desktop and mobile series of RTX 30 series GPUs. This technology enables the processor to gain full access to fast GDDR6 graphics card memory, beating up the processing of the CPU, which can increase performance for the RTX 30 cards that are already on the market. The Resizable Bar will require a vBIOS update, depending on the manufacturer, these updates are expected to begin arriving between late February and early March. In addition, having a compatible processor and motherboard will also be necessary. Of the latter, most models of the Z490, B550, and X570 are already supported, but in March, the list is expected to expand. In order to bring resizable bar to as many products as possible, Nvidia said it was working closely with Intel, AMD, and major motherboard manufacturers like Asus, ASRock, EVGA, Gigabyte, and 
MSI, new games with support for ray tracing and DLSS. Ray tracing and DLSS were also announced by NVIDIA in four new games. Fist and Five Nights at Freddy's, DLSS and Ray Tracing will be supported by Security Breach, while DLSS will be compatible with Call of Duty Warzone and Outriders. NVIDIA Reflex will also be supported by two competitive games, such as Rainbow Six Siege and Overwatch. So, as you can see, NVIDIA had quite a lot to announce. What do you think about this event? What do you think about NVIDIA's new products? Do you plan to buy one of them or are you disappointed by them? Let us know in the comment section. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.